All right, guys, that pushes us into our last two topics, and they're going to be kind of a part one and part two. Part one, that is Daredevil Born Again, all related to Daredevil. Part one is that John Bernthal has been confirmed. He is coming back as the Punisher. And Derek, you are a huge fan of the Netflix Daredevil series, as well as Punisher as a character. I don't know how many seasons you watched of that show, but... What are you feeling about this? Because I know that you really had an attachment to not only Charlie Cox, not only Vincent D'Onofrio, but as well to John Bernthal. Yeah, so look, those shows, when they came out, especially when Daredevil came out, it was unlike any comic book show we had seen before. I, I grew up watching Smallville. I was a big fan of the Arrowverse. But when Daredevil came out, it wasn't like, oh my god, this is a million times better, but it showed just a different way you could do comic book television. And I think that whole Defenders saga, not every one of the shows was great, and even some of the shows had great seasons and not so great seasons. Punisher, when he was introduced in season two by John Bernthal, I was like, man, Shane from The Walking Dead, that guy is such a dick. Like, I cannot see... (laughs) anybody but Shane and it took just about I don't know a minute or two for me to get over that because John Bernthal is a great actor whether it's in Fury whether it's in The Accountant whether it's in The Punisher whether it's in Daredevil he always delivers whether it's in The Walking Dead he always delivers he always makes me hate him (laughs) then you haven't seen him enough as Punisher because I will tell you I was I was just like you. I was like, oh my god, there's no way I could get behind. You know, it's like if you got Ramsey Bolton to come in and play the Ooh. Flash. You know, <laughs> I would hate the Flash, and I'm, the Flash is my favorite hero. But I would hate the Flash. If you Have him play the reverse Flash. <laughs> but if he's a good enough actor, then he can pull it around and make me change my mind very quickly. And he right, did. and John Bernthal is a great actor because I did see like. A little bit later in Daredevil, when him and Karen started getting closer, like Season I two. really liked yeah. that sensitive side of him, but he was still kind of a hard ass. Well, there's... but it, he was really likable, and it really did make you kind of root for the bad boy. You know what I mean? And I really appreciated that quality that John Bernthal was able to bring. And not only that, the dude would beat the hell up the entire season, like. Man never had a bandage not on his face or some sort of scar or bruise. Like, there was, like, I think probably half the season he had two black eyes. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> two black eyes. He was in the hospital bed for half the time and then gunning people down the other half. Well, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. The physicality that John Bernthal can bring as well, because he's a tough dude. Uh, is Honestly, just... he kind of struck me as a military guy. Like, I right. almost thought, like, maybe he's been in the military before acting, and I don't know if he has or hasn't. But it kind of struck me that way. Like, the way he's able to bring that, like you said, the physicality and that kind of discipline that you'd expect from the military into his roles. Well, he really, really studied military. And I, he might have been part of the military. I don't remember. But I know for a fact that he holds that very high in esteem and he is very respectful to our veterans and is very uh influential and helps out a lot whenever he can i mean being the punisher kind of like for charlie cox's daredevil he got really into all sorts of different organizations that are helping the blind same thing with john bernthal as punisher he absolutely uh just got absorbed into the role i mean he really for somebody who embodied the role so well um, and has been vocal about wanting to return for years and wanting to return only if he could do it right and do the character justice in the MCU and that it's not disney makes me really happy for him and makes me really excited not only for the future of his character but also for the tone of Daredevil Born Again because when you're adding a character like the Punisher... It makes me a little less worried about that PG-13 rating, which I'm not super concerned about. I thought Moon Knight did a decent job of having violence and blood. I think the Batman is a prime example of what you can do with PG-13. So they can do a lot with PG-13. And adding the Punisher 
to Daredevil Born Again definitely makes me more excited. And it absolutely makes me over the moon that it's John fucking Bernthal, baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I haven't seen a ton of it. Of course, I've seen bits and pieces here and there. But from what I've seen, I really enjoy the character. And I think he adds a lot to Daredevil. And their dynamic together on screen is awesome. So, And like you said, it really does set the tone for what Daredevil Born Again is going to be moving forward. And it really makes you think, like, if they're going to allow Deadpool to be Deadpool and they're going to allow Punisher to be Punisher, then hopefully they'll allow Daredevil to be Daredevil, too. And moving forward, that PG-13 rating it really isn't going to seem so bad to people. Because I don't think it needs to be, like, Chucky, like, some of the Chucky movies, like, people's heads are getting smashed in and stuff. I don't think it needs to be that in order to be a decent show. I don't think, yeah, I don't think, like, even with, like, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, there was a decent amount of violence. There was violence. But they also went back and took some of the blood out digitally. Yeah, that That was kind of controversial. But another thing, like, with the Daredevil Netflix series, the first scene, he's taken people out in the warehouse, in a, not a warehouse, but in a shipping yard. And it's some, like, human trafficking guys. that yeah and before the opening intro starts he's just repeatedly punching this guy in the face till the sa- till the sound of spaghetti starts coming out of his face and then the you know dun 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 starts and you're like holy crap all right this guy is like beating these people up to a pulp to the point where they need to be hospitalized for months <laughs> yeah it's not just knock you out arrest you he is he Kinda almost enjoys it. Getting a kick out of it. And that yeah. was a little bit of a theme in the first time he met Claire on the rooftop. But with the whole John Bernthal Punisher coming back, you kind of at first get excited that, hey, maybe this is a continuation of all that. Maybe the violence, which was a huge part of that Daredevil world, and even Jessica Jones and all those shows. Maybe there's a chance that some of that kind of violence, even if it's not as bloody, will be carried over, especially when bringing back Punisher. And then we hear the reports of our next topic. But Eleanor, did you have any other thoughts on Punisher? No, I actually, I think we've covered it pretty good. But I think it's our next. I'd topic love to is hear your sad. guys' thoughts, and if you enjoyed the Punisher series, if you enjoyed John Bernthal's take on the Punisher, and what do you think this means for Daredevil: Born Again? Do you think it's any sort of sign as to what the tone could overall be like? And another thing, we have heard that. Daredevil Born Again is going to be more standalone format episodes, so kind of one-story episodes, not like three-episode arcs or anything right, like that. Right, it's going to be more like old-school Star Trek, kind of. S- right, S- which Kevin Feige is a huge fan of Star Trek. So is there a chance that with John Bernthal's return, is it going to be for only a couple of episodes, one episode, every episode? How many episodes do you think we're going to see? I'd love to hear it. All right, guys, that brings us into the 